Authorities say the man who tried to break into the FBI office in Kenwood yesterday was likely motivated by conspiracy theories related to former President Donald Trump, the 2020 election, and the search warrant, which was carried out at Mar-a-Lago earlier this week. ABC News has reviewed a series of recent posts to accounts believed to belong to the suspected gunman on Truth Social. The posts call for war and for FBI agents to be killed on site. And one post yesterday appears to detail detail his failed attempt to enter the FBI office, writing, it is true, I tried attacking the FBI. Investigative reporter Paula Christian spoke with a local expert on domestic extremist groups about what to expect in this investigation. It really only takes a small handful of extremists to produce domestic terrorism. Molly Brasco is a doctoral student at the University of Cincinnati who specializes in domestic extremist groups. She says Thursday's attack could have happened anywhere, even Ohio, because the internet connects people with similar extreme beliefs. But unfortunately, the internet has made it so that they don't have to stay in a tiny siloed space um, to make new friends. Unlike other domestic terrorist attacks that involved long term planning, she says what happened on Thursday seems irrational and spur of the moment, especially since Ricky Schiffer approached the FBI's Cincinnati office on foot, armed with an AR-15 style rifle, trying to breach the visitor screening facility. Now she says the FBI is likely scouring his social media presence to see if he had any ties to right wing extremist groups to try to find a motive or a manifesto. There is also a chance that this individual has written about why they chose to do this, because in many cases, individuals who uh, Individuals who engage in these actions um, go into it knowing that there is a very high likelihood that they will die in the process of committing an act of domestic terrorism. The FBI already monitors extremist groups online, and Brasco thinks that will just increase. So will security at FBI offices and other federal offices nationwide. In the newsroom, Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team.